I call this meeting of the Ohio County Fiscal Court to order on this 11th day of February 2020, uh, just past 5 p.m. I'm going to ask uh, Magistrate Larry Morphew to lead us in a prayer and a pledge to the flag. Lord, we come to you tonight thanking you, Lord, for your many blessings. God, you're so good to us. God, we just ask you to be with us as we make the decisions tonight, Lord, that it would be pleasing to you. Just lead, guide us, and give us strength. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, gentlemen, in front of you, you have the uh, minutes of the uh, January 28th meeting. Do I have a motion to approve? Make a motion. Second. motion by Jason, second by Sam. Joe, by Joe and second by Sam. Uh, is there any discussion, corrections, or additions? Discussions, corrections, or additions? Being none. All in favor say aye. Aye. Pose like sign. The minutes are approved. Before you, you have the bills, claims, payments, and transfers. Would so move. Motion by Larry Cowan. Second. Second by Sam Small. Is there any discussion? Uh, there was a couple of little things about the end, I think, just went in the wrong account. She's going to check on it. Yeah. Some, some charger cards, I'm not sure. Vehicle maintenance. So. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, any further discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion carries. You have the Treasurer's uh, 2020 financial report, January report, uh, which they need to say. Motion to acknowledge. Motion for Sam Small. Second. Second by Larry Cowan. Any discussion or questions? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. You have the clerk's 2020 financial in front of you. Make a motion, Molly. Motion by Joe Barnes. Second. Second by Larry Cam. Is there any uh, discussion or questions for our clerk? She's here. Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. Uh, the next thing you have is resolution 2020-6. It has to do with our county road aid that we get every year. Uh, we, we must do this every year, and uh, uh, it's time to do it. So, With so moved. Motion by Larry Cam. Second. Second by Sam Small. Is there any discussion? Do we, we not get a copy of it? Yeah, we have a copy. No, it's like 12 pages it's our constant every day. Yeah. Or every year. Do Does no, it have a different amount though on it? Do we have a do we, do, we, do we know the amount? No. It went up about right I'm thinking fifty six thousand dollars from How, last year. Do but it again, Ann. It went up about fifty six thousand dollars from last year around this is what mm -hmm. we're in There's an amount on here, Larry. I'll pass this paper down to you. Okay. We never insured that before. <clears throat> All we gotta do is acknowledge that we. No, we're, no, this this big stuff here. It's resolution. Yeah. Resolution. Vote on resolution. Yeah, we do it every year though. It's yeah. just to say we I'll do one. Motion that people but acknowledge. Or... Oh, okay. No, this is not acknowledged. This is the real McCoy. How do we do that? Just uh... oh, it's just the money that goes. No, road. that's money goes road We have to make road road. Road. We do it every year. Okay. Yeah. All right, acknowledge. Motion. <laughs> I'll make a motion. And you all have to sign it too. Yeah. Motion by. 
Jason? Second. Second by Sam. Any further discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion carries. Um, do I sign it here too? Yep. Okay. Um, Bass, you said it. I need your signature on it. And, and that's uh, you, you two sign it and then we'll pass it back the other way. He's got it right there. That's for you. Larry Morgan. You got those three on that other end to sign it too, Bass. No, I like to see what I'm signing. Okay. I was going to avoid you. No. We just go we going. Eat. Yeah. Goodbye. Yes. That's it. You know, I always do. We can pass it back up. That form back up here. Oh, they've yeah. got signed. Here we go. Too. Sorry. The other three got signed. Is that it? Yep. Thank you. That, that's me. Let's go ahead and give me the 80 minutes on the week of roads off. Then she'll come in the bag. I'm just going to write mine down below where everybody else can see. Unless you want to put a name on it. Unless you want to put a name on it. Um, what we're going to do next, we're going to pick up the uh, eighty twenty bridge program, and uh, we this is uh, urgent. We've got to get it in to get our money before the first of uh, July. Uh, and this resolution just says we're going to do eighty twenty. We do that every year too. Uh, the 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 two uh, we're going to do are Humble Valley. Friendship. Friendship. Friendship Road. Humble Valley and Friendship Road. Both small jobs, but we can get them done. Uh, we've uh, looked into it. There's not enough money. You can't build a big bridge for $100,000. So we've got to do small ones. This is going to get two of them out of the way. That And uh, I found out today that uh, Sam's got another one put on it. Uh, another one on it. So, the, yeah, I need a motion on this. So, motion by Larry Camp. Second. Second by Larry Morphew. Any discussion? Where's the Humble Valley? You go up uh, 69 toward uh, Fordsville. Yeah. yeah. And it, well, toward it's Fort Dundee actually. Well, it's where them humble humble people live. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It, it yeah. Into, uh, I figured it was. Road. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I don't know why I made that motion, Joe. Do you? Uh, yeah. Uh, all right. We have motion second. Second, didn't you? Um, Larry Murphy. If if there's uh, in no further discussion, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. Judge. Yes, sir. He said, all right, to make, let it be known about the bridge. It's going to be built. Yes. Go ahead. Or you want me to? Just uh, go ahead. Burgess Lane was our pick. That's the reason we're in such a uh, hurry here. Yeah. There, too. The uh, reason we're in such a hurry, we picked Burgess Lane, and you voted on that months ago. And... When we got all the paperwork in the state, they said, well, why do you want to use that money for that? We're fixing to do that on Bridge of Kentucky. So, if everybody's got to sign this oh, one. Oh, this too. one too? Yeah. So there's no need in us taking our money to spend on one that they're going to do. But that'll be next year, correct? Uh, yes. Okay. Down Prince Road, Ralph of uh, Prince Road. So that's being done with a different pot of money? Bass. 
Is this it? No, that's it. We got another for you to sign. We would have got you to do it while you was up here, but we figured you wanted to walk up here again. Yeah, it's a Joe's here. He's going to sign it. Mm-hmm. You got that house bill, two hundred. I'm not going to be ready to do that tonight. I'm not going to get to do that tonight. I'm going to tell them about it. Okay. I don't have. You can just hang on to it unless it messes your numbering up. No. Um. um while, while they're finishing. Well, uh, yeah. I'm going to uh, tell you something about this uh, next one, the 800, the resolution uh, reprioritization of the House Bill 200 list. I'm going to put that off until I get to talk to all of you about it individually. I've only talked to one of you about it, and it's been such a busy week I didn't get to call you. So I want to talk to you all about it and explain it before we discuss it here so we won't tie up this meeting with it. So I will be contacting you about it. So, but so the next one we got, I'm gonna bring Ann up. Uh, I get no. I tell you what, I believe they can hear you from there. You got, so it won't be hard on. You. Um, as you know, our 911 fees have been dropping every year. We've got them on the landlines. Uh, we would like to switch that 911 fees to the water bills. And that way we will collect them all where we've not been collecting them because all the, everybody doesn't have a landline anymore. Um, I've talked to some of you about that. I know I have Larry Morphew, and I think I've talked to Jason about it. Haven't I, Jason? We talked about it. Yeah. So anyway... Um, I really think that's a really good idea to do that. Uh, this is one and yeah. so, did they just pass new new uh, law in the state about raising it on the phone bill? That was, I think that's. Uh, Didn't they just go? They want to say this morning. CMRS money. Yeah. And that's on the phone bill. Yeah. 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 So I think that was it's kind of like a prepay or something like that. Okay. That's uh, what you're talking about. On okay. yeah. cell phones. I'm just wondering if we, if they just passed That's something new. That's not what this is. No. It's a different yeah. phone. But are we talking both about cell phones and the landlines Actually, as well? Actually, we don't get any, we don't get anything hard at all off cell phones. And why, why are we making the transfer then? We're making, because we're not collecting any money for we, to run 911 off. Yeah. This ordinance was set up to run 911, yeah. so it would be sustaining, and that's how it was. A fee was set, so we're wanting to transfer the fee to the water bill. I think it was set up in 1987. 87, yeah. And landlines are, you know, they're oh, yeah. losing them every year. And the amount we set up is exactly what it takes to fund 911. Not, and it won't give them anything extra, anything like that. You'll just fund it and get it out of our budget for subsidy. Which is pretty substantial amount, and we've got to get some things out of our budget. There's no raising of the 911 fee that we currently have at two dollars and eighty six cents. So it'd be three Be three eighty to take care of all the bills. We figured it. That's exactly what we need to run the service. Because, like I said, that was set, that rate was in eighty seven as well. No, that rate wasn't. That rate has been increasing every year because it was put in the when we voted on it. We put in an increase of. I forget what percentage it was every okay. year to compensate for the state of inflation. Since I've been here, the almost 16 years, it's been the 286 for the 16 years. Yeah. But you're right. I you read the ordinance. It started out pretty low. I don't. The 286 is all I remember. But like I said, I have. I guess I'm an old timer here. So. Mm -hmm. So do I have a motion to that effect to adopt that? Uh, well. Uh, Oh, we're, we're we're doing that tonight. We're not even going to look at the. Well, it's. Uh, yeah, I'd have to prepare probably the ordinance. Uh, yeah, are we having a budget section? Can we? Yeah, it'll be on the twenty. Uh, the next. Oh, uh, now it goes up, and from two eighty six to what? You'll have 
380. So about 90 some cents. Mm -hmm. But that's. That would make 911 totally self funded for this upcoming fiscal year. As we all know, retirement keeps raising, but yeah. at least for one year it would be self funded. Yeah, all of our bills <clears throat> going there. We don't have co servants anymore, are very, very little. There's no. Um, I mean, so we just got to look at, some, and we're subsidizing this from our general fund by uh, 200000 a year plus. Um, I do have, uh, I got some information on some, some other counties that would send it to them. Uh, Laurel County is 350 Whitley County is 3 Girard County is 4 Lincoln 4 Bullet 3 Kenton County 625 Campbell County 375 those were all the rates I could get. Uh, can we all set some with the line phones? Uh, is there any way like a, a small fee? Because every, everybody has cell phones now. But Well, that money, correct me if I'm wrong, Lisa, that money goes to the state, and they distribute it <coughs> through a source called CMRS funds. So we cannot, we don't have access to that. Yeah, we can't touch that. That's yeah. not going to Only thing I was thinking about, I have a landline, but landline but a lot of the older people elderly people is the people that seem to have that have kept their mm -hmm. landlines and for health reasons and different things of that so sort this yeah. right here would transfer completely to the water line and yeah. come off the landline come off the landline yeah. so the, the the ones that do have landlines aren't going to be double taxed is that what well they'd be taxed right. at three eight three yeah but i mean they're but, not going to get but taxed they're not, on their landline no, off the no. landline no, no, they're they're off the landline I think when talking to some of the other counties that they all agree that 911 is available to every citizen in the county and is used critically by the fire department's hospital um, like that. And by charging that fee on the landline, you had a very small portion of your population trying to support that. And by putting it on the water bill, you know, we're probably at 99% of the people have a water bill. Oh, okay. I, I understand now. I understand. In fact, everybody's going to pay the 911 fee. Everybody will pay. If you have a water bill. The service bill. that they are getting. And so. it is not a new fee. It's It's been in effect for 30 years. Not at the same rate, but the fee has been on for 30 years. You know, it probably wasn't a problem 15 years ago when everybody had landlines, but now nobody has landlines, yeah. and it's we're going backwards. Yeah. Yeah, I just... We, we just now starting to find out about this tonight. Going on the water bill. Right. What's the? But now it'll come off. How's that going to work with walk right. and the water district? Are well, they going to charge yeah. us to? I, on there? Well, well, there there are counties that don't. I guess the question would be, does um, the school? Because there's other fees on the water bill. Do they take a percentage for that? I would think with today's technology, it's just simply writing a check once a month. I'd like to get your information and table this until the next meeting. That's my opinion. Well, the only thing is we can do nothing for the budget and hardly anything until we resolve a few of these issues, this being one of them, one of the three or four. I'll mail, I'll mail. 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 Did you mail that to me? Justin, could you go ahead and prepare an ordinance? Uh, and could you get Justin some samples? Yes, I will. We've okay. already talked about it. Okay, well, I appreciate it. We may give us time to talk to the water district because, you know, we, we you have, have the jail process. process. Can so somebody can talk to the water district between now and the budget workshop? And see what you they're going to do. I'm sorry. Yeah. I mean, because that's going to make a big difference, too, at how this is going to They've not even been approached. They need to be approached on that too. Yeah, or if we put it on there, I mean, they're going to charge us to collect it. Do I? When's the budget workshop? Process, of course. Yeah, yeah. is there, uh, just a good question, Joe, is there a fee for collecting from the water district, or do we know? Some uh, counties pay a small fee, and some didn't. What about, but I mean, no one's asked Wally yet. Right? No. Water I called each water district to ask how many, what the count was. Uh, but I didn't go any farther. I didn't want to stir up anything until you all had discussed it. Well, and the cities don't have to do this. Is it something? Yeah. I would think it's yeah. fiscal court. That's a Justin question. Yeah, yeah we have a uh, we have interlocals with them and everything they can but do. I so. would think it would be a common courtesy if the 
city process of this. What about the policy? This policy is preachers. What about the fee? I, I think that we're going to have to do something. I'm not saying that. But common courtesy, you don't vote on this. And not have talked to. I mean, that's what I'm. I meant jail fees. I meant jail fees. Yeah, I just was very good to iron it out before we pass something. Oh. Well, we'll do that and get it to, because like I said, we've got to do some major things before we can work on our budget, and that's one of them. Uh, but we can, even though we want a short agenda for the hospital, maybe we can have first reading then. If uh, just, We'll get you, all, whenever you get that Miranda, you make sure they all get a copy of it. So hang on real quick. When does our budget work out? Uh, well... Like uh, I've kind of said that until we've resolved some of these, it's not going to do us a lot well, of good. I think what we need to do though yeah. is have a budget workshop how, and have Ann sit in there and say, "However, here, here's yeah, my short. Here's my plan. After we get done at the hospital, uh, what day of the month is that now? Twenty fifth. After we get done at the hospital on the twenty fifth with that short meeting and the presentation from the hospital, that we come back here and we can go ahead and call that a budget workshop." But it's not going to be very much on the budget to, at that time. We'll just lay out all the issues we've got and all the shortfalls we've got to talk about. When is that, when hospital, is that meeting, Joe? The hospital is going to be the 25th at 4.30. We all need to be there at 4.30. The meeting, fiscal court meeting starts at 5.30. Okay, did y'all hear that? No, do it again. Everybody be there at 4.30 uh -huh. at the hospital. hospital. And then at 5.30... Will be the fiscal court meeting at, at the at the hospital. Immediately after that, we'll come back here. Have they got a bed for everybody? I no, think I so. They I might think they keep do. You, Larry. I think they do. <laughs> Um, yeah, actually, I thought the first budget work, or workshop we might just kick around some ideas on. Well, that's basically all we've built. I think that. we need to know where our shortfalls are going to be. And yeah. Kind of fix those shortfalls a little bit, too. Yeah. And this and these things here, we're going to have to do. We gotta, we gotta no need. And, plan. There's some people back there in the back row. Yeah. I, I, can't, I can't really start the budget until mm -hmm. we do these, fix these, look, these things, and there's several of them. Uh, one of them we're working on Thursday. We're going to... Uh, uh, Frankfurt to work on the General Assembly on the uh, uh, this thing we just signed for the CRA money to make it more for them to get us more of that. Uh, next thing on the agenda, we have the uh, this didn't copy everybody on it because look how big it is. This is Rip's policies and procedures manual, and he does it. This is his business, but we have to. Adopt it for him. So, uh, adopted or acknowledged? I, acknowledge. Let's just go ahead and acknowledge. There's no changes. This I'll make a motion. Motion by Joe Barnes. Did Rip he raise his last year, year four last little bit? No, that's the policies and procedures. Okay. Fees are next. I bet he's not changed it. The policies no. and procedures. No. I'll second. Okay, you got the second. You got it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, any further discussion? <coughs> Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, motions? Uh, Judge, before I forget, yes, sir. at and and I had a little spat, and my phone's going to be down for about a week. Both my of them? Phone, no, my cell phone's not. Uh, we'll call you. We'll call but you. So. Anybody that hadn't never had any trouble with AT and T. Well, well, I'll I'll just call Ernest Stewart and he'll come tell you. Yeah, that's the way to do. Will that be all right? Yeah, that'll that'll be fine. Uh, that's that's just we're just trying to be funny there. I'm sorry to bore y'all with that. Uh, here's the jail fees. <coughs> we want to adopt these following jail fees. The weekenders pay eighteen dollars a day. Work release pays twelve dollars a day. The per diem is ten dollars, and the bond fee is five dollars. Is that up from when we uh, approached this issue? What last year? Year before last? Well, I think those are the same. He, he is looking into some software that will. Um, you want to explain it, Justin? I don't know oh. anything about it. He's looking at some software currently. I think when you go into jail, I haven't been. But the inmates get their money and it's on their person. Uh, other jails, they have a jail tracker system to where if they have money, it's put into a computer and 
you know, kept records on, and then if they don't pay their hotel bill, it comes out of that. No, oh, okay. I think up to 50 percent. Uh, up to half comes out of that. Yeah, I would so move on. Motion by Larry Cam. You second? Yeah. Second by Joe Barnes. Any further discussion? Being none. All in favor say aye. Aye. No. Opposed like saying the jail fees are are adopted. I don't want to do that. Okay, um, Sam, you're up on the Bear Run Lane. Uh, I have an extension on a water line I want to put on the list. Uh, I'd like to see about getting it done fairly quick. It's just 500 feet, but there's uh, one new house uh, getting ready to be built right now and two more on the way called Bear Run and uh, Lane. It's 500 feet and it's $7,153. And the one's already being built right now. Mm -hmm. Starting. I'll second that's put on the list. Feller, Feller's actually building a, his house, and uh, family members are going to build there on the same plot of land, just up the road a little bit or around it. So. They've already started on one, Sam. Yeah, yeah. he said they were. Start and get ready to pour the footer. Uh, they hadn't yet because of all the rain, and the, but he said, "Yeah, I've done got it prepared and ready." And uh, yeah, this I'll, is uh, that's the form motion. I'll second. Second by Larry Cam. Any further discussion? Do we have a do we have any kind of ordinance on that? Like when people I've had people approach me, you know, that they're going to build, but I told them we would probably when they started. Yeah. But we don't have an ordinance or anything that states either way, do we? That's to admit. Just and I were talking I'm, about that today. We have it's we have a road. We have so many homes have to be on that. That's we have no water lines. That's so true. And you the can roads. put one water line for half a mile, but yet on the roads you have to have four. I'm sure yeah. have four. But that that would come before the court. We're talking about 500 feet here. But yeah, yeah, right. I'm just wondering for future reference. <laughs> that's probably not. That's stuff. probably a good suggestion and not a bad idea. Because uh, I've had several. You know, they want to get the cart before the horse. You know, yeah. they had him buy the property, and I said, well, when y'all buy it, and you start building, you know, we'll, we'll well, look at and that's a good suggestion because I do know that. As I said on this court one time years ago, they put in a water line that didn't have any houses and never did end up with any houses. Okay. So well, this gentleman, he actually, I think he said it, and I, I don't mean to quote this and quote it wrong, but it seems like it was 350 acres he owned there. And that, that sounds right. And uh, him and his think, son and another family member was going to all build there. Yeah. yeah, and that's why yeah. he was wondering if you know we could get it up there. Oh yeah, yeah. no, I mean he's already building. I just was wanting to make sure that's what our ordinance was. Probably something we need to look at. But we don't have it because uh, I know of. It. Yeah. Um, so if you're going to have a road one with that, you might why not have a water line with it? That would make sense. Right. All right. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like that. I've got something to work in here. Um, it's a road issue. I wish I'd drug it, had it into the road, but didn't. Uh, our road garage started leaking really badly. Uh, it has a little bit for a while, but it become uh, really bad in the last few uh, weeks. And uh, it's urgent that we're going to fix it, but I want to get it approved. Uh, road department has it in their budget and all that, but I want to get it approved to... Uh, for Ann to write the check, the total amount is going to be fourteen six, and this is, uh, by the way, five star commercial roofing. Uh, check amount is going to be fourteen thousand six hundred dollars, forty four thousand seven hundred twelve ten from account one count and nine thousand eight hundred eighty seven ninety from another count. Uh, so uh, I'm going to need a motion to so for Ann to write the check basically. Where's this roof going? Road, road garage. The garage itself? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Judge, I never have quite understood that. That's got a metal roof on it. Maybe Dennis can uh, allude to a little bit what the problem is out there, but I wouldn't think a metal roof would need the kind of attention that take $14,000. <laughs> well, it's uh, been looked at a bunch of times, and that's the only thing, only thing that we've come up with for anybody to guarantee it. The so, metal's been re torqued and re-screwed and redone everything to. It's leaking and now? It is. 
several spots. What did what did the uh, this the material goes over it to seal it all down. Hmm. Is this a complete new roof or what is it? I think it was a it's seal a seal seal. Over it, it goes over the building, doesn't it? It's some kind of spray over the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's a compound that goes down the whole thing. But it will be guaranteed correct. Yeah, that's yeah. a good idea. Mm -hmm. It's flex seal. <laughs> um no, they used all that to make a boat out of. Okay. Before I, before I vote on it, I'd like to know if there's a. Uh, How much is it to have a new metal one? A lot more than that. Well, I mean, I'm just. Uh, but what uh, what I'd like to know is, there's a guarantee, and for how long? It's a ten-year warranty on it. He's got yeah. overhead Okay. Yeah. Uh, but it, he'll come back at his cost then after within that ten-year period and and fix it. Yes, there's even provision to. Something happened to him that uh, the company he buys his materials from would do it. Yeah. I don't understand that. I put on several metal roofs and I've never had did, one to ever. Did anybody ever else look at it? As as he could the, not get anyone else to give a price. She did have others look at this. I want to give a bid. <coughs> yeah. And, and I will say this is something. That if it had been done in time, would just been on your bills and claims if it's completed. But we want to be able to let her write the check when it was completed. Well, they wanted half up front. We, we wouldn't, wouldn't do that. that. Uh, but then we're going to be there next week, which would be before the next court meeting. And you will have to approve it before I write the check. You know, make sure the work's satisfactory. Has it got, Dennis, has it got more than one leak? Yeah. Well, you can see daylight. 10,200 square feet. I could probably fix a leak that you could see daylight, you know what I mean? So, uh, do I, have, I know it needs to be fixed, Judge. I was just concerned about the price or whatever, but I'll make that motion. Motion by Larry Camp. 10,200 square feet. Mm -hmm. uh, three do I have a second? I'll second. Second, second by Larry Moore, if you. Here's, the, here, here's what they're putting down. It's like three layers. One layer, and then the Let layer me see that. Is that next? That for the whole to spray the whole roof in Yeah. We have motion second. Further discussion? Where is oh. that from? This, where is this? Hartford City, Indiana. Hmm. Don't, don't move it on the papers. They work for UPS, FedEx, California. Put them to the shredder. Back. We're getting who's here. Okay. All in favor say aye. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, opposed like sign. Uh, motion carried. make that joke. Um, you get that. Okay. Next, I have a few personnel issues to take care of. I put up the name of Shannon Henson as. This is what that's doing. 20 years. That's the only difference. It doesn't apply. Uh, I'm putting up the name of Shannon Henson as attendant at the animal shelter at nine dollars and three cents uh, per hour. Uh, this in the budget, and as part of it's being reimbursed by state, uh, and this is a new a new hire. Nine oh, the replacement left at nine oh three per hour, beginning to to eleven. Beginning two twelve. How many hours a week? Forty. Forty. Okay. Uh, um, Shannon Kenson. So just a roll call then. Morphew. Yes. Small. Yes. Bullock. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Johnston. Yes. Camp. Yes. 
That one's died. Judge? Yes. Half a second on this roof here. There's a 20 year one too. And it's it's one more layer they put down and it's another $4,000, but it's going to extend, extend it twice. As opposed to 14, almost 15 for four. It extends it for 10 more years. I don't know. I'll find you the other sheet here, Cap. Yeah. Y'all can look at it down there and see. Some kind of aluminum coating that goes on top. I didn't know if y'all wanted this. Huh? No? She's having a fair good because there's a little bit of 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 I didn't know if anybody wanted to entertain that as it being a double, double on warranty. I mean, that's, I just seen that when I was looking through these papers. I, I guess my, my problem with it was to start with is just a, the price. a D rib metal roof and uh, my gosh, when you put one on, it should be there for 30, 40 years, and here that's probably been on most like 15 are. or whatever. Most so. are. It, yeah. it is a steel building. It's not a pole bar, and that has something to do with it, or it makes it hard to fix. It's not a it's not a pole barn building. Okay. Didn't hear any more uh, any motions, so I'll move on with personnel. Mary. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing I have is a status change on uh, Charles Bullington to uh, equipment uh, uh, equipment operator received his Class B CDL and it would raise him from fourteen sixty two to fourteen eighty two. In other words, a twenty cent per hour. Raise Charles Bullington. Effective. Roll call. Effective uh, 119. That's when he got his license. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Count? Yes. And the uh, next one is for Willie Sutherland. He got his tanker's license. And that would move him from 1584 to 1599. Roll call. Effective. Effective 126-2020. That's when he gave tanker license. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Count? Yes. Okay. While we're here at this, I would like for the wage scale committee to meet sometime in the next month. And on these where you've got them set up in the weight scale, there's going to be automatic when these things happen. That that's just be done at the personnel HR by Renetta, and we don't have to make a motion on those status changes, just for those my uh, few changes. Joe, can you do that? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I don't have. I and you make. Actually, going to do that. Well. Already. Yeah, I know. I thought so too. But because we have voted on that. It's already. Approved. We can. We can it's already approved. It. We and can I, talk about it, but then we'll put if what we got to do is put that in motion. Just make a motion. Just make a motion, and then she will take care of that in HR. Yeah. Because there's just a few cents, and when they get when they up their status like that. I don't even, know why I, I don't even think you have to do anything. I mean, because we vote on the pay scale, so yeah. it's a, it's not like it's on. Let Let us check with the auditor just to make sure that we can do it without the actual pay. Okay. okay I, we'll follow okay. up. Okay. I have one more personnel. I want to put up Dakota Gill to uh, fill a full-time position at the road department. He is currently there seasonal, has been. He's done his full uh, six months as seasonal. 
the road supervisor that just left as well as Dennis highly recommended him and uh, it's to fulfill a, a vacant slide a vacant uh, thing he has a uh, grade two and that would be 1477 an hour effective 216 2020 mark you he, he's out. Go ahead. I'll vote for him. No. <laughs> <laughs> nice guy. Larry, you not got, got a vote here, buddy. More of you. Yeah, just say no. Mm -hmm. we vote no. Hiring Dakota Gill. <laughs> Dakota, Dakota, Dakota Gill. Gill at the road department. Yes. Is he from Mike Henry? Is that the, the Gills? Or I'm, I'm not sure. I just wonder if that's the bunch I'm using. Small. Yes. Bullock. Yes. Farm. Yes. Johnston? Yes. Count? Yes. Okay. No, Moving along. Let's finish this personnel. We're going to move on into committee reports. And the first committee I'd like to hear from, and I'm trying to think who we're going to call on to be the spokesman. Uh, I get David Stevens. Would you like to speak for the firefighters? Um, uh, uh, Pat, I'm sorry. Pat here. Come on, Pat. You can bring one of them with you if you want to. He don't need no backup. Oh, my. You, you really think you want to take it with you? Uh, my name is Pat Gibbons, and I'm the president of the County Firefighters Association. We'll call you Buddy Workshop. We like president. It's not a full blown. Uh, the only thing we want to bring up is we we know there's going to be some budget cuts that the county's losing a lot of money. We just need to know for sure how we stand on our budgets if we're going to get funded and if we're going to get cuts so we can look into the future on what we're going to be able to do as far as any future purchases of equipment and whatnot. Okay. You uh, wasn't going to make us a suggestion on how we could assure that. Well, I, I know I know you have talked about several options. Well, <laughs> I can't say give you a straight up suggestion of what y'all need to do. To, to us, it's up to y'all to fund us, not for us to come up with ways to fund, fund ourselves. Uh, which magistrates on that, Jason? And everything. It takes everything. I mean, you would believe the amount of time to take from us just to get the department. I know. So I know that. I know that, Chief Gibbs. I know that. I know that well, and I appreciate the firefighters so much. That's why we we really we really want to find a way to continue at the level we've done at least. But we've got to find funds, and so I just wanted. Uh, we, you know, we I know we talked about it before, but I want to see what y'all if y'all have moved any further with anything yourself yet. We're not, but I may just go ahead and put some. Uh, uh, which magistrate was on that committee? Well, so here's the, here's the thing. You know, when we kept, there's only one really option to do, and I think we all know what it does. We've been kicking it down the kicking the can down the road for I think every time since I've been on the court. And that's basically what we're going to have to do. And then we can't get an agreement from every fire department, so we're probably going to have to make a decision how we're going to divide that up. I don't know any other way to do it. I mean, unless you guys, and as far as me being on the committee. I voted yes 10 years ago, so no. um, I think we need somebody else that's going to kind of, because I don't know what the other option might be. And this is another one of those things that we need to clear up before we, we can do the budget. The budget workshop. Uh, one of the things that we want to keep in mind is the small fire department. Yes. Now, they're the ones that, yeah. if you put on a bar due or whatever, yeah. if that's, you put one on, then the small departments, which will not generate mm -hmm. the kind of monies that the larger departments right. will, and that's one thing that will have to be taken into consideration. Yes. Well, and, yes, and I agree with you, like, I think that we might even have to set up like, you know, like we did road formula <clears throat> or something like that, just look at, because I know Rockport, McHenry, I don't know which other one, maybe Dundee, uh, Dundee. Dundee it's going to hurt possible. some of those, so that's where we're going to have to kind of step in and say, Give a certain amount, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. We can't. I, I would envision a set a thing fee for the whole county, and then come up with these uh, where that uh, 
everyone would have enough out of it to operate the department. Uh, and meaning meaning that you would come up at least as, as much as you're getting now. You know, uh, that would be my formula that I would like to see used on it. And the thing about it is, if we don't do anything, you know, people might fuss about the $25, and they will. But if we lost the fire department, then and their fight. property insurance jumps hundreds of dollars, they're going to probably wish that we had done something like that. We can't afford to lose our fire department. Uh, Chief Givens, would it be possible for each fire department to prepare their budget? That's what we had. Since we're at this lock and we got to move pretty quickly, each department do a budget. I mean, be real. Don't be. Don't get crazy about it. I mean, realistically, what you're operating on now. And and prepare that budget and say what you've got to have to run on, and then we can see what that fire dues has to be countywide to pay this amount of money to each one of these departments. But and you'll need to do it, you know, honestly. And well, and we, we have a association meeting coming up next Tuesday. We can just go. Won't you ask them to do that? Yeah. See what we come up with. If it comes up crazy, then we'll be in trouble. But if you do a realistic one. Then we can figure how much you have to do fire dues across the board to get that much money. And basically, what I'm saying is to come up with what you're operating <laughs> on now. By preparing a budget, I really mean expense list. Are we talking about just operations to keep getting by? Or are we going to look at not enough to get put money in to replace a truck with a pump goes down or replace the pump? I would that's, say that's, that's some major expenses that we look at if we don't have that funding there. I, I, I would say that probably would need to be figured too, and maybe that would go with the fire association. We'll chip in this too, fire association, and maybe some money would be there for whichever department that got in trouble. You know, trucks do wear out, and there's standards we have to go by that we have to replace stuff. And it's or, or if not, a little bit in the bu a little bit in the budget for that yeah, too. New equipment, new. Well, the year you know, they pass they pass laws on them. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. The new we year has to be. To, it's fine for I these think big cities. Twenty-five hundred dollars an outfit, you know. Yeah. When is association meeting? Chief. It's Tuesday at seven o'clock. It, it, a week from today. Some of the smaller ones, like uh, out. Look, could you call me and talk to me? I'd like to attend that. So we, we Would you like to, too, I guess? Uh, I don't know what, not, what I was fixing to tell him. What What's his name here? Uh, Pat. Uh, Chief Gibbons. Pat. And when we got one that we charged us, right? What else can we do? Now there's two things. Uh. 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 How much we funded? I think it's six. I'm not sure. We had to look. How much we got out here, too? Uh. I think it was six. Well, I think we'll find something like that. I think we'll just set up something like that. But he said it was a lot of purchases. That's not what that is. Totally. Totally. Yeah. 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 We've got, we've got uh, several budget meetings that we're going to have. And before I commit to anything, I want to look at our budget and see where there's money set there. Uh, because, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're not. Two, three years in the future. On yeah, as far as I'm concerned, as far as I'm concerned, you guys are the emergency service, and I'm not going to cut out. Uh, I'm not going to cut out the contribution that the county gives to the fire departments. Uh, but uh, there's, there's, I think there's savings in a budget where we can help out on that end. But let us have our uh, budget meetings and, uh, and and see where we're at. Okay. Yeah. But each chief, need to go ahead and prepare that. We'll need that to no. Something will have to be done this year. So, I mean, time, Chief, what time are you meeting next Tuesday? 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock, okay. If, if we let you guys fall, we'll rule here. You know what I mean? So we're, we're here, I mean. We're yeah, here. but we have to have what pay for it. Like. So we can. Yeah, so, uh, no, no play. I mean, you can't cut everything yeah, else out. You don't have no, no, no. I'm talking about that, just like if, uh, you know, we got, uh, yeah, so not, well, we were talking about a while ago here on the, uh, at the, center. the House Bill 200, where we could uh, direct money toward the fire departments, maybe instead of uh, some of it coming to other the projects that we got or whatever. So, well, I mean, uh, well, I mean, well, I know what you're going to do. Everything. I don't know. 
I, I've, yeah, I've heard Ford's going to cost me a thousand dollars a year, and that's, uh, that's all right, I'm a little bit skeptical on that. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> and I believe in a park, so don't get me wrong. But uh, it, well, I would, we're all going to have to get on the same page. Yeah, some I'm twenty five, some of them's forty. So yeah. Yeah. no, they'd but, all be the same under the yeah, scenario. Yeah, no, I, I think fire service. But I know you take a little, 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 little park fund like so. Dundee. Even if they put on a thirty-five dollar, they can't come up to the contribution we normally give. No, but I'm saying you put enough in to do the whole county, and you do get a formula divided back to get what they make. That's why each department's got to submit their budget. Yeah. That's a good idea. They have to get the budgets in. Let's yeah. take a look at them. That's what we said. All of you get the budgets in. We'll see where it is, and the more reasonable and the more practical it is, and then we see what that fee's got to be. The more apt it is to work and it should work. But I do know that with the amount of money that you've been getting from the county, y'all still have a lot of need. Yeah. If you know so if you come up with just a little bit more that'd be okay. I mean uh truck now they popped up over the four hundred thousand dollars. Right. It's just amazing. Thirty or four years I've been in fire service. The expense is no. Well, and unfortunately, sometimes when they change regulations and laws, it affects y'all negatively. You know, because we talked about on the the uh, you know, fire year, you know, where it's a little different on some of these big cities where they're they wearing them out so fast. Yeah, like that, I said I don't agree with all these regulations. We can go back to the yeah. other one. Okay. Yeah. I appreciate it, and and uh, I plan to attend your meeting and we'll work on that. And we we all have a total yeah, commitment. Yeah, There's no no doubt that we all are committed to start. Well, the but that's for sure. the fund that's been yeah. paying for it's just just not there. So we got to find an alternate way. We were just wondering what we're going to. Like, we have to look far into the future. Well, we just well this we this will be the start. Let's get that to us. Thank you. Is there it, it, did any more committees meet? Uh, Renata, back to the wage thing. If you will uh, research that, and if you do need one motion at the next meeting, get it to uh, Joe. Okay. Uh, any other committee reports? Being none, let's go to the uh, magistrates. Uh, Sam Small. Uh, just got one thing I want everybody to know of and be aware. The bridge on 231 at the West Kentucky Parkway, they're going to start construction on it February the 18th. So it'll be a mess again uh, until they get done, but just so everybody's aware and kind of plan for it. So you want to be uh, held up. Uh, maybe not start the 18th, but that's when they're going to start. Uh, everybody knows that. and. Uh, and be aware of the black water. There's plenty of black water out there. All I to. Thank you. Jason? No, thank you. Joe? No, thanks, though. Larry? No. Larry? I just come back from a conference, and to my understanding, they're trying to pass Senate Bill 5. Yes. And if that passes, the uh, where now your health department boards and your library boards raises their rates their sets their tax rate and if this bill passes it'd be up to the fiscal court and i think it's a good thing because i don't think fiscal court's gonna put any more taxes on and these people that's on these boards they don't they don't answer to nobody and they sure don't care to put you raise your taxes so i think it's a good thing if you want to call your state rep or your state senator and tell them to get on board to pass that well that might be a yeah, and also I believe, Larry, if you remember, the, I, the way I remember too, then we would actually appoint board members. Now, when I bring up a name for a board appointment, it's just somebody they've given us. We don't have the option of library board just saying, okay, uh, Dustin Bratcher, I want you to, well, or his brother, Lee, uh, uh, Lee Bratcher, <laughs> I want you to serve on the library board. I can't do that unless Lee Bratcher's on the list that they send me from the library. So, uh, like that's... I, like I said, they answer to nobody. This way we would actually make the appointment here as well as, you know. All right. Well, uh, is there anything to the good, for the good of the body from the public? I 
appreciate the physical court allowing me to speak. Uh, my name is Richard Schaefer and I work for Ohio County Road Department. I wanted to clarify some information real quick. Uh, it's been said that I'm uh, sending a petition around to try to get that tenancy policy re looked at. It's not a petition. All it is is a list of personnel that is currently employed in Ohio County. And that would see a lot of gray areas and areas that we'd like to be looked at, re advised. For that tens policy, uh, that's really all I just want to bring up to the, the board. I tried calling all magistrates and judge, and I was able to get a touch with Larry County, Larry Morphew, and uh, we just like uh, the consideration to see if y'all possibly look at it. I'm still in the process of getting more signatures, but uh, I wanted to let y'all know I'm not trying to petition or force a court to do anything, but we just like to see if y'all possibly look at the attendance policy. You, if you give us that, we will uh, have a meeting of the uh, uh, wage scale and admin code to get a joint meeting to look at it, not in the near future, because we th this next month is so busy, yes. it might be uh, the first meeting, it'll be first meeting in March before we have to get to it. That's so I'm curious, give me an example, if you don't care, how you put uh, it on spot, but... According to the policy, like it's asked that we have 48 hour advance notice before we take a personal day or sick time. And not everybody can purchase give 48 hour advance notice. And those days you count against us, even if we've got the personal time available. I was recently off of strep throat. I was contagious, told not to go to work. And I took a personal day because I, had, I got paid a personal day, but the day still counted against me. Even though I had a work excuse. Of, all that information available. So it's just stuff like that that we... Was it like, just one day to count against you though? Is it just one occurrence? Yes. Or is that I, count I left right? halfway through the day the go because I mean I was feeling horrible yeah. for about a week and I finally went. But it was just one occurrence. But uh, it's the 48 hour advance notice. We feel like that's you know really pushing us to give an advance notice when we're sick. That's not something that's realistic. Some days we wake up and you know you just sick and doggy you can't get up and go to work and we understand there should be some sort of advanced notice but we think 48 hour might be a bit much and it's just some things we'd like to like y'all to consider if possible my work you know requires a 72 hour uh, before ever occurrence uh, if you want to take a day off whether it be without pay or with pay for a vacation day it requires a 72 hour you, you know what else uh, might work? I still we could still do this, but what might work too? If it's just for clarity, uh, we could set up a time with Dennis and uh, Renetta, and I'll come out, and we'll invite if if the magistrates available to come too. We'll come out and just try to explain it. I guess would might be the beginning point. But then if you do get that to us, we will take it to the uh, uh, admin code and the wage scale committee. Uh, with not, not, I'm sorry, not the weight scale committee. What was? What did we name the one that did? That's uh, admin, admin code, code committee. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, admin code committee. We'll have take it before then. Okay, I, uh, I'd still like to hold on to it for a little bit. Because That's I'm fine. Still trying to talk to the sheriff's department and trying to get a hold of Rib. I understand they just had a loss of family, so I don't want to push them too far on that right now. But. Uh, Give everybody the opportunity to possibly sign, show them that there, you know, there are people that feel upset about it. There is a personnel that's been here 20 plus years that's upset, and there's some new hires that seem some flaws with the policy. Well, so we just like to see if we could possibly get looked at because we, our time says, like with our department alone, that we go out for calls and you know tomatoes, rain, the sheriff's department too, you know, and yeah. situations where you very liable to get sick. Yeah. We will we will respectfully look at it. I will tell you this. Uh, the this came about because of a attendance an attendance problem. We had an attendance problem with the at the county up with county workers. Uh, and that's why that came that. about. I, I know exactly what you're talking about in that situation. And now this was more than just one department. No, I understand that. I understand there doesn't need to be guidelines, but we're just, you know, we were running into other departments. We were running into other departments overtime issues and everything where, you know, if you're sick, that's one thing, and you, you're allowed an occurrence, you're allowed your occurrence to last for however long your sick is, and you got you still got the amount of days that you have, but we also opened it up where you could use it as personal days, and that's where you got to give the advance notice. 
Okay, so, I understand that. And then if you check with a lot of your other businesses in the county, I think you'll still see the dollars are still really leaning it. Yeah, I mean, I understand completely, but I just, I'd like some things to be took into consideration. Like I said, there are several departments that go out in severe weather and everything like that, and y'all might not think six occurrences could happen very quickly, but it's very possible we get sick very often. But I know very many guys that where I work at personally that come in sick and puking and stuff like that still do their job, and that's not necessarily a good thing. I just like that from the human standpoint to be taken into consideration. Uh, like I said, I'm not, I'm not going to start a petition or anything. We just, it's just a list of personnel that sees the stuff they like looked at and possibly heard of them. It's nothing against the court or anything. It's just uh, something we just like y'all look at if possible. We, we, I sure you will. Okay. We'll look at it. Thank you, sir. We'll take it to that committee. Thank you. And, the, and the, Do like we have said, any other neighboring counties policies? Just when we, just curiosity. We, as far as counties, I didn't look like at Brad the counties, Elon, we did or do some of the other local businesses. Mm -hmm. And that policy is actually um, the National Journal Society, which is Society for Human Resource. That hit policy <coughs> is um, basically what they have templated out there. Thank you, Renetta. Sir, come on. Yes, I just wanted to ask the board if there had been any movement or matters. Do you think it's been heard? Or? Uh, as you see, there's there's been no physical movement. That's for okay. sure. I mean, you know that you know you know that quicker than we do. But uh, Charlie Shields has been in in uh, talk with them, and they're going through the procedures. Uh, they have they're waiting to get a a state program is applied to. Waiting to get a denial letter from them before they can give it to FEMA. FEMA won't take it until they get turned down by the state agency, and we're waiting on that at this time. And uh, I, I uh, figured we're going to talk about. It, so I did ask Charlie if he'd heard anything. He said, as far as he knew, everything, all the paperwork was at that state level. Okay. Well, it's just we're not another month down the road, and I went and checked my river yesterday, and I had. Three flags missing, so I got another yeah. 30 foot, yeah. at least a foot of bank yeah. on, and you know it's running and it's on its way to Green River, I guess. Yeah, well, but, we are. Uh, the other thing that's concerned. frustrating to me, and I was wondering if you could enlighten me on this thing. I'm become familiar with bridging Kentucky, our bridge on Shreve Road, which is part of this mm -hmm. Maverick situation. Uh, they've actually been out there taking soil samples yeah. for the abutments. Uh huh. The utilities yeah. are marked, well, and when I saw that, I thought, boy, this is going to blow my cleanup, but I guess no. that'll be all right because we need a bridge there. Yeah, but well, it's here. Frustrating. it's frustrating to me. Yeah, well, I we just did. We've got two different entities working on building a bridge, Well, and my river's plugged up. Yeah. Well, we don't, we don't put all of our eggs in one basket. We try every way we can to get the yeah. bridge. And like I discussed so we it tried with my everything. family, you know, and I got mad. And but my youngest son, he just said, Dad, he said, if Maverick gets the money and Kentucky builds the bridge and Maverick puts the money in their pocket for building the bridge, I guess that'd be all right. <laughs> but it's 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 terrible things yeah. have to work out that way. Well, I mean, uh, this uh, the bridge in Kentucky, that's not slowing down the work on any of it at all. No, no, it's... They're ahead of Maverick. I, th yeah. I say I thought it was Maverick. You know, yeah. I thought that was Maverick. But uh, uh, but it's just uh, to me, it's just. And see, I started this whole thing out, and I think I'm gonna start calling again because I called. Uh, I believe it was C.B. Emery. He had a gentleman from uh, named uh, Larry Taylor from Frankfurt call me, and he called me and gave me a good good talking, and he said. The Corps engineers, or national resources, they, they should clean that out. And then after two months of talking, he apologized to me, and he said it looks like nobody's over our rivers. Yeah, well, but, I'll show uh, you one thing. This body wants to help with it. Yeah. We're, we're very limited. And I appreciate it, and I, I appreciate it, and I hope we get it done. I'm just wondering if I need to call my buddy Donald Trump. But he's go, hey, get, too. hey, go ahead and do it. Yeah, that'll be fine. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, I just wanted to see because I was, yeah. I was kind of told from Charlie Shields' office that 
a month away might have something going. Yeah. We're, we're there. You know? go, go ahead and call President Trump. I hope he don't give a copy of it to that woman. She'll just rip it up. Yeah, not the truth. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I don't mind. I said that. <laughs> I just block it out there. She can't kick me through this. If, if we're at another meeting, she kicks me all the time. Just shut me up. But uh, Anything else? If not, this meeting's adjourned. See y'all next month. Well, I mean later this month.